The Gaddafi regime is in its death throes, but in this badly damaged army base in the northeast of Tripoli, a reminder of the might he once had and used on his own people. Rebel fighters arriving in the city from Misrata found dozens of tanks. It appeared the buildings where they'd been stored had been hit by NATO airstrikes. Many tanks were intact, but Gaddafi's soldiers had long disappeared. There is a million pound bounty on Gaddafi's head now, but pictures of the dictator are all they've found so far. The British government will not confirm reports that the SAS are helping in the manhunt, but NATO is playing a part, supplying the rebels with intelligence and air support. NATO last night was more active than we have been in recent nights in terms of attacking targets uh, across uh, Libya where they may be continuing to provide command and control for the regime. NATO is, of course, continuing to provide intelligence and reconnaissance assets in the hunt for Gaddafi and the other remnants of the regime, and we'll continue to do so, and I think we have to keep a sense of perspective. There's been an understandable euphoria about the effective overthrow of the regime, but this was a very brutal and well-supplied regime, which is likely to have pockets of resistance continuing for some days yet. One of those pockets of resistance was around Tripoli Airport, but after fierce fighting, rebel forces say they've now taken the area. Though on the runways, there was evidence of the destruction wrought before gunmen still loyal to Gaddafi withdrew. Britain's foreign secretary has warned that ending the conflict will still take time. The Gaddafi regime is finished. There is no way back for the Gaddafi regime and clearly many of its key members are on the run. But there remain forces active, uh, loyal to the Gaddafi regime, uh, concentrated particularly in the south of Tripoli and around the city of Sirt. Uh, and as long as that remains the case and they remain a threat to the civilian population, uh, then the NATO operations uh, will continue. While they haven't found Gaddafi, there is plenty of evidence of the opulent lifestyle he and those close to him enjoyed. Rebels here trawling through residences owned by the colonel's daughter and one of his sons. Enjoying a moment's relaxation on a golden mermaid chair. A striking contrast to what is still happening in some parts of the city, where there are still people loyal to a leader who's on the run but won't accept defeat. Paul Davis, ITV News.